culture and literacy in our final stage of decline have been replaced with noisy diversions and empty cliches. The Roman statesman Cicero invade against their ancient equivalent, the arena. Cicero, for his honesty, was hunted down and murdered, his severed head and his right hand nailed onto the speaker's platform in the forum. The roaring crowds were gleefully told he would never speak or write again. We are infected with a toxic, mindless cacophony, our own version of spectacle and gladiator fights, of bread and circus, pumped out over the airwaves in endless cycles. Political life has fused into celebrity worship. Education is primarily vocational. Intellectuals are cast out and despised. Artists cannot make a living. Few people read books. Thought has been banished, especially at universities and colleges, where timid pedants and careerists churn out academic drivel. Although tyranny, because it needs no consent, may successfully rule over foreign peoples, Hannah Arendt wrote in The Origins of Totalitarianism, it can stay in power only if it destroys, first of all, the national institutions of its own people. And because ours have been destroyed, the imbecilic utterings of our degraded culture is tweeted daily in sound bites from the Oval Office. Thank you for watching. You can find us on rt.com slash on contact. I'll see you next week.